also read your slip for us. Every day on my way home from work, I feed this dog and his friends my lunch leftovers. Other than that the local butcher killed this dog, and I'm devastated. To make matters worse, on my commute home, I'm robbed. In the past, I didn't have to worry because the dogs that acted like uh, police officers in the community. Since the strays have been slaughtered, crime has increased. So L5, please sit down. Because you were robbed. <laughs> L6 and dog two. Can you come together and link arms? Of course. <laughs> And L6, can you read your slip for us? I find out what happened to my friend, and I buy a dog for protection. You <laughs> should see me come over and confront me about rules for keeping the dog. I do not understand why they are so mad with me. I stay in the house afraid of disease, afraid of robbers, and afraid of researchers. Since I'm stuck at home, my business stuff is great. So the researchers walk over to L6 and be really angry with him. <laughs> L6 and D2, you can sit down because you're stuck at home. So L7 and L8, the doctor, can you guys stand together over here, please? And L8, can you tell us what's going on? In the yeah. So meanwhile, doctors continue to see patients dying from disease. So we'll both sit down. And the doctor, please sit down. Researchers soon learn that the traditional normal science approach failed, leaving people either dead or unhappy. The researchers involved in the project in Kathmandu realized that isolating problems of the epidemic only adds new challenges. They decide to switch their thinking from the parts to the whole and make some enlightening decisions and discoveries. So when I call your little code, you're gonna come to the front of the room. Our wife, can you read um, your statement? Yeah. While human health remains the ultimate goal, we had decided that this could be the best this could be best achieved by improving the health of the eco-social system within which that health was one outcome. Perfect. So uh, L3 and L8, you guys can stand up and shake the researchers' hands. You guys represent the local assistants helping the community. Uh, L3. Researchers teamed up with local assistants to create and translate detailed questionnaires to conduct interviews and to develop focus groups. Together they established trust between researchers and the locals. Locals 1 and Locals 2, please join the group, shake hands, and help form a semicircle. Everybody say <laughs> The researchers and local assistants reached out to the butcher to explain to them why slaughterhouses were essential to disease prevention. They reassured them about current legislation and implemented additional legislation to ensure that animals would be killed humanely. So L1, the butcher, can you tell us some of your thoughts? Not only did butchers begin to accept working in slaughterhouses, but they also began to raise their cattle away from the river. They intervened when they saw neighbors not doing the same. So, Cattle 1 and Cattle 2, you guys can stand up and join the circle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the knowledge transfer about the disease began to spread in the community. Locals 4, 5, and 6, please stand up and join the circle. The individuals who were motivated by local assistance participated in focus groups. More and more community members started volunteering to be a part of these groups where they brainstormed methods of promoting healthy habits. Local 4, can you share some of your thoughts? Uh, we're speaking to butchers who shared their experiences killing strays and infected cattle. We told our friends to stop feeding contaminated meat to dogs. We stayed vig uh, vigilant about preventing our dogs from uh, defecating in the river. Local 5, can you share us your thoughts? We built and maintained sanitation facilities so that people would not have to rely on the river for water. We also started to employ sweepers to clean the streets. Who's L6? We can have this plant. <laughs> <laughs> and L6, tell us what you did. Uh, we built a garden around the river to deter people from using it to raise cattle and to dump waste. We also planted the biogas plant to, com to compost the existing waste. L7, you can join L6. You guys both planted the garden together. <laughs> okay. Say that too. 
<laughs> so the community begins to heal and reorganize itself. People are empowered, animals repopulate, and the plants grow into a beautiful garden along the river. In real life, the Equinox Cocos transmission cycle was, in the end, broken by these multiple and interacting interventions. Thank you very much. You guys can appreciate this. Awesome job. <laughs>